Divine Day family. I just wanted to come on and make a little video about some of the revelations that I've been having recently on um, spiritual bypassing and uh, like really believing that like I was healing myself but in reality I was really just running and in super denial about it um, and you'll recognize it because it will come back up as a pattern you know and it will be like did you really heal from this let's see did you learn anything let's see and in a way I learned a lot from those experiences but at the same time I see where I was shoving down my emotions and not letting myself feel them and like desperately trying to run from reality instead of embracing it and I'm still learning how to embrace my reality if that makes any sense because for my entire life I have struggled with negative mindset um, you know and just like what doctors label as depression, bipolar disorder, anxiety, ADHD, um, and like this deep desire to not be here because of the amount of pain and suffering on this planet. And how I just so intuitively know how things should be and how they are so out of alignment with how they are, you know, and how our way of being is so fucked and our way of thinking and our way of interacting with one another and communicating is just all so fucked. And so I'm just like learning like a newborn with new eyes and new legs and like learning how to walk again, learning how to live like with this realization of like, Okay, like, obviously, smoking a bunch of pot and, like, sleeping with a bunch of men and doing all these things, like, it's not helping me overcome or heal anything. In fact, it's doing the opposite. And it comes back up in the spiral of consciousness to see if you've healed, to see how you will react, you know? these uh, different trigger points in our lives. And it's at that point, do we continue down the same path or do we choose something different, right? And I'm just becoming super aware of my patterns and taking action to get myself out of that same loop, out of that same cycle. I'm becoming more aware of the patterns and I'm just being really loving with myself and just taking it one day at a time because honestly, this, this game of life doesn't come with a freaking handbook and we're all here like trying to figure it out, right? And uh, you know, my entire life I have used drugs to escape my reality, 333. Three, three. And uh, it's, it's, it's crazy because for like the first time in my life, I'm just trying to deal with life, like live life. But it's not as simple as it seems because I'm so used to just like taking that pill or whatever to, you know, um, to feel better or smoking that joint to feel better or putting myself in some kind of a situation to distract myself to make me feel better and ultimately it never makes me feel better because <laughs> when that high wears off from that person place or thing all of those feelings just come flooding right back in and I'm left feeling worse than I did before because I didn't deal with whatever was bothering me before and a lot of my anxiety that I have, it like has to do with what could happen in the future. And I really see this as like this deep programming in the collective that I'm helping to shed. And I just keep looking at it like that. Like I am shedding this old way of being and really anchoring in to the 
fact that I know that I am the creator of my reality, that we are all one, that this is all divine and that whatever's happening to me is happening for me and that it's all divine and that it's all part of the plan and that it's all leading me home and just showing gratitude for it no matter what way it's showing up because the problem is is that with this world that we live in everything's right wrong good bad and in the end it's all divine and that's what we don't see as humans like we forget that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and then like we take on all this human junk and we start living in these patterns and don't even realize it and it's just very unconscious you know and uh I know as we're awakening more and more, we're becoming more and more aware of these patterns. We're becoming more and more aware of where we can show up for ourselves and our fellow humans and the earth and the animals, all of us, show up for all of us in love. Like how can we be more compassionate? How can we be more caring? How can we be more kind? How can we spread more love and unity and really anchor it in? and? It starts with us first, loving ourselves so that we can hold space and love another, right? And I'm really, really anchoring that in because I was thinking about the argument that I had with my neighbor and how the first words that came out of his mouth were about, you know, my appearances and, and how I take care of myself and my family and my children. And I was just like, what is that reflecting back to me? Like, why, why would I create a reality where someone is saying all these awful things to me? For me to realize and detach and say like this, I'm not this human body. <laughs> I'm not. And, and to get upset about what you project onto me about this human body is just kind of funny to me. We're all just consciousness experiencing itself. So at the end of the day, whatever that person is saying to you about you is really kind of like a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Like I wasn't sitting there telling him that he was ugly or fat or anything like that. I was just like, bro, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to do it. You call yourself a good mother. Go, go shave your beard and <laughs> the fuck. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Like that's really compassionate, right? But when you think about it like this, guys, right? He's just a hurt little boy who doesn't know how to channel his emotions. And I'm not going to fight with him because to do that would be insane. <laughs> um, so I didn't fight with him. But then when I walked away, I was just like, wow. The lack of compassion and empathy for another human being that most humans have is just crazy, you know, to think that like, you don't think once that like maybe the reason why things are the way they are is because maybe somebody's suffering you know and maybe maybe if we all could just come together and love each other a little bit more maybe the suffering would be less so that's what i aim to do every day just show up in love for other people because you don't know what other people are going through. What they've been through. And I've been feeling really emotional lately. And I'm just letting it go. I'm letting it fly. I'm letting it flow. Because to deny your feelings is like putting up blockages and dams in your energetic field. And I'm done doing that. Oh. I cry for the pain of humanity. I cry for the suffering of humanity. We have forgotten. We've gotten lost. And we're all just trying to figure out how to navigate life. And uh, sometimes it's not easy. But if we all show up with love for one another and a little bit more compassion and empathy, we will make this world a better place. We will. I firmly believe that. 
So keep shining your light and keep being beautifully you. And keep showing up <laughs> and being that light. Even if you didn't shower today, even if you have a beard and you're a lady, even if you... <laughs> Oh man, you know when he called me a bearded lady, I was just like, you know, you haven't even seen my legs and armpits, man. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, it's all divine. And you know, the thing is, is that I don't have to tell him that and I don't have to tell you this either, but I have a hormone imbalance that makes me grow hair where I shouldn't, you know, as a woman. And again, it comes back to that you don't know what other people are going through. You don't know, but yet you judge. And like, why? Why do we judge each other? Why do we sit there and point out everyone's flaws instead of celebrating their beautiful uniqueness and their gifts to this world? Why do we sit there and pick each other apart? Well, I'll tell you, for the first time, he didn't call me fat. That, that was one that didn't get thrown out there. But it's just like, I'm just feeling into it. And just like, the lack of compassion, the lack of empathy, and the lack of understanding and love. And it all starts with ourselves. Like, if you don't love yourself, you can't love somebody else. You can't show love for somebody else. And that's... The disease that America and the rest of this world is facing is like, we just don't know how to love ourselves. We've never been taught. And we've also been lied to. And we're all waking up to that. We're all waking up to all the deception. We're waking up to all the lies. We're waking up to it all. And it's not easy. And this is where more compassion and empathy is a fucking gift. Because lately my mental health I've been feeling it you know just trying to stay grounded in love and feeling the feelings as they come up and not spiritual bypassing and just like letting myself feel it breathing through it and visualizing my breath taking away all those blockages in the energy field And just letting it flow because part of our problem is not letting it flow and then turns into these blockages and then turns into d disease and uh <sighs> i'm here to heal i'm here to heal if i'm not here to heal then take me out <laughs> you know i don't want to live in this fucked up world if i'm not here to heal it that's the fucking truth That is the truth. So. <sighs> and you know, so I, I know so deep in my being that that's why I'm here. I'm not here to be a normal human, you know, in the cookie cutter box, doing all what, what all the other humans are doing. I'm here to be me, to embody my soul essence so that others can see this and anchor into their soul essence too. And all together, as our true authentic selves, we will walk each other home in love. I truly fucking believe this. And that's why I show up and I make these fucking videos and I cry and I'm just, I'm just me because this is who I am. Take me or fucking leave me. And I hope that you can gain that love and self-awareness in yourself too to show up and do the same and just say, you know what, fuck it. I'm just going to be me. <laughs> What's the worst thing that could happen? I get denied, rejected. That's already happened before when I was trying to be people pleaser. And that just hurt even more, you know, because you're trying so damn hard to be fucking liked and shit. It's like, at least if you're just being you, at least you didn't try any extra hard or anything. It's just like, oh, so they're lost, you know? <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to come on and talk about that because oh, 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 I'm feeling it and uh, just loving on myself and just 
letting everything unfold exactly as it should and um, realizing that the more I, you know, push, it's actually resisting, you know, in a, in a kind of messed up way. So I'm just kind of learning how to let go, surrender to the present moment and trust in life. Because a lot of my anxiety is like, what could happen? Instead of like trusting that life has my back, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, this could happen and that could happen and this could happen and that could happen and da 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 da. And like, are we, it's like our safety, um, what I'm really realizing is that our safety or what we consider to be safe is really kind of an illusion. And it, it's freaking me out a little bit. I don't know why it's freaking me out so much, but it's like, I'm just coming to this deep realization that you can work your entire life for something and then have it all just fall apart and like lose everything. And yeah, and it's scary when that happens because you lose everything that you have, you know? And, I've, and that's happened to me on so many occasions in my life where I've lost everything to several different occasions. It's like, just life disasters life emergencies and all of a sudden you're left with nothing and it's like so I'm freaking out about losing the security possibly in the future right and it's like but for what I've literally made myself suffer and then like everything's been okay for the past six months I've been suffering with anxiety and it's like for what for what everything is fine like everything's working out fine I'm just suffering from this anxiety of what should have, could have, fucking would have happened. Like, what? <laughs> like, no. So I'm really getting present to not running from the anxiety because whatever you resist, it persists. This is the fucking truth. So if you're having anxiety or a depression or anything like that, the worst thing that you can do is run from it. You want to embrace it head on and just feel it and especially with anxiety, what I do is I get really conscious with my breath, I get really conscious and I send the breath down to wherever I'm feeling the anxiety because when you feel anxiety, you're gonna notice that you have this contraction inside of you somewhere. So you're gonna wanna send the energy, send that breath the, right down to wherever you're feeling that resistance, hold it and then release. And when you release, let go and, and just like, and when I say let go, let all of your muscles like it takes practice so at first if you can't do it right away don't feel bad it takes practice but like let yourself soften into that moment let yourself let go let let all of your muscles just release and just surrender and say at the same time an affirmation i am safe i am held i am loved all is okay in this moment and if you need to really think about it like is what you're thinking or feeling making any sense are you safe right now and just really anchor into that and then just release and let go and if you believe in god or a higher power release it over to, to them release it over to your higher power just know that whatever is happening is part of the divine plan and that we don't have any say in what happens we can try all we want but at the end of the day whatever the divine plan is is what the divine plan will be so just really surrendering to that letting go and letting god and uh, letting the universe work its magic for us because we're not here to be the controllers of this reality. We're here to be the experiencers, the observers of this divine dance and to live out our magic. And I really believe that part of this divine plan is to learn how to clear our vessel out, to choose with our own free will to become that conduit of the one, of God, and so that's what I'm really anchoring into. I'm anchoring into letting go of all of these false narratives of who I think I am in this human experience. Letting it go. It's not important. It's not even who I am. It's just part of this play called life. <sighs> so with that being said, I'm anchoring into my divine truth. I'm anchoring into the divine will and just trusting on a whole new level and when I feel that anxiety come up I just keep handing it back over to him them they her he she they them her God universe spirit source whatever you call it it's all the same thing we are one 
oh, sending you guys so much love and I hope you have a blessed day and uh, hope this serves you in some way. I know it did for me. Love you.